Right now, millions of air travellers are being rerouted around a 45,000 foot column of volcanic ash that materialised over Ethiopia in minutes. The Haley Gubbi volcano, dormant since before human civilization began, just detonated with enough force to ground international flights and choke cities with volcanic debris. Local herders describe hearing explosions from 100 kilometers away. It was followed by a rain of ash that is now burying livestock grazing areas across the Afar Triangle. But the most disturbing discovery is not what is happening above ground. It is what seismologists found lurking beneath the desert floor. Hidden magma tunnels stretch for miles beneath Ethiopia's rift valleys, connecting volcanoes that researchers thought were completely unrelated. This morning's eruption was triggered by molten rock that traveled 18 miles underground before finding its explosive exit through Haley Gubby's ancient crater. The terrifying implication is that volcanic networks can span hundreds of miles, meaning eruptions can trigger other eruptions through underground pathways we never knew existed. So if one detonation can wake a 12,000 year old volcano, how many other dormant mountains are connected to this same deadly network? Haile Gubbi volcano stands as a monument to geological time itself. This shield volcano in Ethiopia's Afar Triangle last erupted 12,000 years ago when the Sahara Desert was still green grassland and humans were just learning to domesticate animals. The great civilizations of Egypt, Mesopotamia and Rome would not exist for millennia. During its active period, Haile Gubbi built itself through quiet, effusive eruptions. Lava flows spread gently across the surrounding plains, creating the symmetrical cone that defines its profile today. These flows covered ancient sedimentary deposits in the Giulietti Plain, then gradually ceased as the volcano entered its long dormancy. But Haile Gubbi's silence came with a cost. Located in one of Earth's most geologically violent regions, where three tectonic plates slowly tear Africa apart, this volcano became the forgotten member of the Erta Ole volcanic range. While its neighbors continued their violent dance of eruptions and earthquakes, Haile Gubbi showed no signs of life. Scientists classified it as extinct. No thermal signatures appeared on satellite monitoring. No gas emissions were detected, no ground deformation was measured. For decades, research expeditions passed by this mountain without a second glance, focusing instead on the spectacular lava lakes and continuous activity at nearby Erta Ela. The assumption was logical. After 12,000 years of silence, Haile Gubbi had exhausted its magma supply and would never threaten anyone again. That assumption lasted until 8.30 a.m. this morning, when 12 millennia of accumulated energy found its violent release. Haile Gubbi sits at the heart of the most geologically active region on the planet, the Afar Triple Junction, where the African continent is literally splitting apart. But what satellite monitoring revealed in the aftermath of today's eruption has completely rewritten our understanding of how volcanic systems actually operate. The detonation was not caused by internal magma generation. Instead, months of underground magma migration from the continuously active Erta Ele volcano had been secretly pressurizing Haley Gubby's ancient chambers. Dr. Juliet Biggs from the University of Bristol explains that satellite data revealed an intrusion of magma from Erta Ele had pushed more than 18 miles below the surface, beneath Haley Gubby and beyond. This underground network operates through what volcanologists call a perpetual dike system magma filled fractures that accommodate the 20 millimeters per year of continental spreading in the Afar Triangle. At depths of two kilometers, molten rock flows through these channels like blood through arteries, connecting volcanic centers across vast distances. The trigger mechanism was a magnitude 4.7 earthquake that ruptured what scientists describe as a buried magma dam. In seconds, 
months of accumulated pressure exploded upward through Haley Gubby's dormant conduits. The eruption sent ash 45,000 feet high well into commercial aviation corridors while releasing massive sulfur dioxide plumes that are now tracking across three continents. Seismic stations recorded the underground pressure wave as it propagated through the magma network. Thermal satellites captured the moment that 12,000-year-old chambers explosively vented their contents. Ground deformation measurements show the volcano's surface had been rising subtly for weeks, but because Haley Gubby had no eruption history, these warning signs were dismissed. This represents the first documented case of remote volcanic triggering, proof that eruptions can be caused by underground networks rather than local magma generation. The implications are staggering for regions sitting above similar magma highways that have gone undetected until now. If underground magma highways can detonate dormant volcanoes across 18 miles, the implications stretch to every major city built near supposedly extinct volcanic centres. The network that triggered Haley Gubby extends beneath dozens of dormant volcanoes across the East African Rift, many located near population centres with no volcanic emergency plans. The immediate crisis is already unfolding. Aviation authorities have issued red alerts across the Red Sea corridor as an ash column 45,000 feet high forces flight diversions from Dubai to Mumbai. Volcanic ash can remain suspended for weeks, potentially grounding aircraft across one of the world's busiest international air routes. Cities across the Horn of Africa are experiencing dangerous AIR quality as microscopic glass particles settle from the atmosphere. In Addis Ababa, 500 kilometers from the eruption. Hospitals report respiratory emergencies spiking as people breathe air loaded with volcanic debris. Millions have no masks, no air filtration, no emergency protocols for volcanic ash exposure. The sulfur dioxide plumes tracking toward Yemen and Oman threaten agricultural catastrophe. These gases convert to acid rain capable of destroying crop yields across regions that feed 200 million people. If the eruption continues, food security across the Arabian Peninsula could collapse within months. But the nightmare scenario involves, cas involves cascade failures across the underground network. Seismic monitoring stations are detecting increased earthquake activity throughout the Afar Triangle signs that underground pressure waves may be destabilizing other magma pathways. If connected volcanoes begin detonating in sequence, we could witness volcanic chain reactions spanning hundreds of miles. Consider if this network reaches Nairobi, built on volcanic soils from ancient eruptions, or Addis Ababa, surrounded by dormant volcanic centers. Millions of people live above geological time bombs they never knew existed in cities with no volcanic evacuation infrastructure. The economic impact compounds exponentially. The Red Sea handles 12% of global trade, worth $700 billion annually. Extended volcanic activity could force shipping reroutes around Africa, triggering supply chain collapses that ripple through every economy on Earth. Disruptions to oil shipments from the Persian Gulf alone could send global energy prices skyrocketing overnight. Suddenly, a single volcanic detonation in the Ethiopian desert becomes an existential threat to urban centres across Africa and the Middle East. And if this hidden network proves to be the rule rather than the exception, major cities worldwide could be sitting atop similar magma highways oblivious to the catastrophic potential lying dormant beneath their streets. Haley Gubby's detonation has exposed the most dangerous secret in modern geology. Extinct volcanoes are not extinct. They are dormant nodes in a vast underground weapons grid that spans entire continents, connected by magma highways we never knew existed. The 18-mile tunnel that triggered today's eruption is just one strand in a network that extends across the entire East African rift system, 
Seismic mapping reveals similar connections beneath supposedly unrelated volcanic centers from Ethiopia to Tanzania. For the first time, scientists understand that volcanic hazards cannot be assessed by studying individual mountains. They must be evaluated as components in continental scale, triggering networks. Dr. Derek Keir, who collected fresh ash samples from the eruption, warns that analysis will determine whether this represents ancient magma finally reaching the surface or evidence of fresh intrusions building pressure elsewhere in the network. The answer will reveal if we are witnessing a one-time release or the beginning of a systematic volcanic awakening. The implications are staggering. Cities across Africa sit above dormant volcanoes that may be connected to active magma sources through these hidden pathways. Volcanic hazard maps worldwide require complete revision based on network analysis rather than individual volcanic history. But the most terrifying aspect is unpredictability. If 12,000 years of dormancy can end in a single morning through remote triggering, no region can be considered volcanically safe. Underground networks could be pressurizing right now beneath major cities, building toward detonations that would make today's eruption look insignificant. The question is not whether more connected volcanoes will detonate, it is how many millions of people are unknowingly living above loaded weapons in this hidden grid, and whether we will map the network before the next ancient volcano explodes back to life beneath a major population center. Somewhere in the darkness beneath our feet, molten rock continues flowing through channels we are only beginning to understand. The next detonation could be directly beneath the city where you live. This is the stark reality Haley Gooby has thrust into the global consciousness. A wake-up call 12,000 years in the making. Volcanoes we thought were dead are merely sleeping, biding their time until the right pressure wave comes along to reactivate them. The East African Rift is likely just the first rift to reveal itself. Similar magma grids could be lurking beneath volcanic chains worldwide, from the Pacific Ring of Fire to the Mediterranean's own turbulent geology. Each one represents a potential doomsday device of continent reshaping proportions, hidden from our sight, but inexorably counting down. In an era of technological arrogance and perceived geological mastery, Haley Gooby reminds us that we remain at the mercy of the Earth's most violent forces. We forget this truth at our peril because the ground beneath our cities is more tenuous than we ever dared imagine. Today, a long silent volcano in Ethiopia spoke for the first time in 12,000 years, and its message echoes like a warning shot across human civilization. We are never as distant from the fire below as we think. Complacency is a luxury the planet has never afforded us. Vigilance is now our only hope of survival. Because the magma that detonated Haley Gubby continues to flow beneath our feet, seeking the path of least resistance, probing for the next weak point in the grid. The subterranean fuse has been lit. The question now is whether we will identify the next explosive node before that fuse reaches its inevitable end. The clock is ticking. The network is awakening. The age of hidden fire has begun. The seismic shockwaves from Haley Gubby are just the beginning. The very nature of volcanic risk worldwide must now be reassessed through the lens of hidden magma networks. But this isn't just a geological story, it's a human one. Millions of lives hang in the balance, threatened by an invisible grid they never knew existed. The time to act is now. Ensure your city has a volcanic emergency plan. Subscribe to Earth Attacks for the latest updates as this groundbreaking story unfolds. The future of human civilization may depend on it.